hot out there as the players get started with training camp this week. Exactly, Christian. We're already talking temperatures that are in the mid to upper 70s in some spots out there this morning. We are headed to the low to mid 90s, but it's going to feel more like we are in the upper 90s for today. So it is going to be a rough go of things. We can see the temperatures this morning. We'll start you back in uh, Western Maryland. Deep Creek, good morning. Frostburg, good morning. You're at 64 and 68. That 68 is the magic number. That's where we should be now for this time of the year. But we're 10 degrees warmer in Easton this morning and Chesapeake Beach as well. We're at 75 degrees and Severn. Good morning to you and good morning. Have a great. You're coming in at 70 degrees this morning. Cecil County, not uh, the best this morning as they're actually dealing with some flooding concerns the, out that area. Northeastern Cecil County to be more exact and accurate. Uh, they've already received about uh, I'd say between four to seven inches of rain have fallen already across that area. So again, they are dealing with some flooding. In terms of the dew points, uh, these numbers are on the miserable side really, as we're going to be quite sticky, especially coming off last week. Remember how nice it was and comfortable? Well, those days are gone, and they will be replaced again by that humidity as we continue through uh, today and uh, much of the rest of this week. So a heat wave is uh, upon us once again. In terms of the overall setup for today, we do have the system that is going to stay more off to the south of us, and that's where, that's where the focal point of the showers and thunderstorms will fire as we go through the rest of today. But with that said, with all the heat and humidity, I still can't rule out a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm this afternoon. This morning, already starting to see some uh, isolated showers and thunderstorms firing up to the south of us. You can see that really around uh, West Virginia this morning, and you can see some back across the upper Midwest this morning as well. As we move through the rest of today, well, this is what we can expect. A mix of sun and clouds out there, not a whole lot of uh, activity, but again, we will see the sun, we will see some clouds, and then we can see again some of those thunderstorms firing up mainly down off towards the south as we continue through the rest of today. So in terms of what we have as we go in through your uh, Wednesday, again, more of the thunderstorms happening. Again, more isolated though, scattered in nature. So you like those words because that means that it's not widespread. Not everybody's going to be getting that rain. But then you can look at it on the other side where we actually do need some rain across the area. So let's uh, hope that if you do need the rain, uh, the thunderstorms will happen across your area. That rain will happen across your area. The dog walking forecast it looks great. Look at Harley all nice and poised out there. Thank you so much, Karen, for sending this picture in of uh, Harley. And it is going to be a hot day to walk the dog, that's for sure. And remember, keep your eye to the sky. And if thunder roars, make sure you go indoors. Uh, the pool forecast looks good for you and the dogs out there as well because it is going to be quite hot and quite humid. So once again, those low 90s that I'm forecasting for today, definitely going to feel more like the upper 90s with that humidity. And then we are going to get even hotter as we work our way into your tomorrow. And then finally, we will break that heat wave as we head into the end of the work week into the weekend. Christian, over to you. Okay.